Okay, so we're here to talk about idioms. Idioms. Not idiots. Idioms. Um. Um. Actually, uh, this is a pentatonic, just like Chinese, but with a, with a little more emphasis on the one and the three. Like one, two, three, four. You take the high road and I'll take the low road. Glory, glory, hallelujah. to it. It's, I didn't mean to start with Celtic, but that's the way it came out. So since we're in that pentatonic idea, we can talk about Chinese, which is just the um, same pentatonic, but a little less rhythm to it. So it's... So it's just kind of um, in the D chord here. I'm just playing the notes in the D chord, but I'm not going to have my 7 or my 4. So Chinese. And then actually, I could use the same pentatonic for Native American kind of music. And just like the Celtic is 1 and 3, Native American has more rhythm to it, and it's more like on the... three pentatonics and uh, you know have the different quality of it simply by changing the rhythm uh, pattern of it same thing with blues which we just worked on right so blues kind of a more typically a little more relaxed feeling and then if we want to give it a little more a little more jump to it or even some swing bass line like then you have kind of a 40s jump style swing style and then if you want to jump it up a little more then of course you have something closer to rock and if you really want to move it So, same thing with the Celtic and, and uh, or the pentatonic and the blues styles. Just by changing the rhythms behind them, you identify a particular style. Country, of course, well, I can't really. We're just touching the surface, of course, of all of these. Alternating bass line makes a nice country feel. So, that, uh, so three, four time, you're going. sound now um, we can move into some Caribbean styles I'm playing a six chord here and uh, it's kind of got a little more upstroke there you can see Down the 
wait a minute, I'll play another one that's a little more recognizable. Day-o, day-o, daylight come and me wanna go home. Day-o, day-o. It's a Harry Belafonte song, very recognizable by many people. Kind of a Caribbean uh, calypso sound. Now if we want to take that up a little bit, move that, give it a little more spikier rhythm, then you have what might be called reggae, right? By like Barb Marley. Don't worry. It's kind of got that one, two, and three, two, and three, two, and two, and one, two, and da-da, da-da. One downstroke, one upstroke. Did it, did it, did it. Hey. Don't worry. Here's a little song I wrote. You might want to sing it, not for no. Don't worry. Be happy. In this world you got plenty trouble But when you worry you make it double Don't worry Be happy Now you can see how that rhythm almost is hypnotic, right? Which is part of the idea of reggae uh, it, it goes almost by itself, right? So we talked about that sort of psychological factor of of, of, of participating without having to do everything, right? Keep the rhythm going all the time or every note or every strum. Um, and now I want to move into some Latin styles and I think that's enough for you guys right now. Um, in in uh, Latin styles, of course, we have that La Bamba, very common style, very easy to improvise to. And right, that's kind of underlying it, so we're not just doing the strum all the time. A lot of people ask me how I get that sound. I'm actually doing is partially muting the string it takes a little practice to be able to do that but instead of just hitting the string I kind of resting my hand on that on the bridge here and I have a little more control over the sustain of the string makes it a little more percussive um, so another very handy um, Spanish style this Phrygian flamenco kind of just moving that A form, I mean the E form up the half step to a, and another step to the G. It's very handy. And again it's a Phrygian style, so it would work with a C diatonic. Uh, instrument like a xylophone or somebody playing white keys on the piano. Very um, flexible. So you can stay on one chord for a long time or you can move it. Put a lot of rhythm behind it and then stop somewhere. If you watch that Thomas video that I sent you, you would have seen that in action. Um, and then uh, another another kind of Latin style is uh, playing an A minor. 
This is kind of a rumba style. Beat behind a rub noise, boom, 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 So you know, you're hearing the yeah, if there was a drummer, you're hearing what the drummer might be playing, and you're kind of trying to go along with that. A way to variate that also is you can move that A. have to change the position of my fingers for that. There's an A with A minor with a seventh in it and up to an A minor with a uh, seven and uh, A minor, A minor with a seven, A minor with a flat seven. With that kind of rumba style with a little more movement. There's a man, there's a man mucho. Kind of rumba, but could also be cha cha, right? One, two, cha cha cha, one, two, cha cha cha. And if you're playing in the A minor chord, we have a variation, All right? It can move into that piece. Ole. Somebody could really improvise to that or sing to it or do all sorts of things. So, uh, so the idea really is that we're going to find uh, three different styles and create um, either three songs or the same song in different styles and uh, identify some aspect and, and be able to execute it that brings out the flavor of that style. That's really the uh, assignment. Okay, so uh, happy picking.